Hey guys, it's Kassara, and today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite books by authors of color. my theme is to read more books by authors of color and that's because of black history month here in the united states but i open that up to more than just black authors because historically i feel like i've done a pretty good job of reading books by black authors but for the other ethnicities i feel like i read almost no books by those authors so i definitely want to put that more into my reading but for this month i decided that it would be fun to do a top five favorites of these books because it would be really interesting to see how this changes over the years because since I haven't read a whole lot of them my favorites list is pretty small and of course because I read a lot of fantasy this is going to be tilted a little bit more towards the fantasy genre and of course sci-fi as well but we're gonna start with my number five book on this list which is the Binti trilogy by Nadia Korafor which includes Binti, Binti Home, and Binti the Night Masquerade. So this series is a short novella YA series. It is a sci-fi series that is African inspired and it's about a character named Binti who is traveling to this university or school basically to become part of the school and she's from a planet that is very different than the typical types of people that she's going to be rubbing elbows with basically on this planet. I absolutely love this series because Binti is a great character first of all but also the world building in the series is really fantastically done. Like I absolutely love all of the detail that the author puts into the world building. It's just fantastically done and I absolutely love reading about such a different world but at the same time that world world still has deep roots in our own world just in a different culture than what I'm used to and I felt like it worked really well with the story and I really really enjoyed it. So the next book on this list is The Three Body Problem by Six and Lou. I didn't realize until just now how much sci-fi is actually on this list. It's actually more sci-fi than fantasy which is surprising. This is the first novel in a sci-fi series that was first written in Chinese and was translated to English and this book is super interesting as well. I really like the way that it starts out because it has kind of like this mysterious thing going on where it doesn't seem fully real if that makes sense but at the same time the, the main character is still experiencing this and it's still so very groundly set in our world that it's kind of crazy that the main character is experiencing these things so I enjoyed that aspect of it it also has part of it that's set in a video game and the video game world building is so fantastically done I absolutely love it I love the way the physics works in the video game and how all of that later leads to something that I was not expecting and I really enjoyed it so I really really enjoyed this book and highly recommend it as well I think I ended up giving the first one in the series 4.5 stars and I cannot wait to continue on with the series this year. So the next book on this list is Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. This is a pretty recent read for me. This is a African inspired adult high fantasy novel that is very, very well done. I really, really enjoyed this book. It has some really interesting character development, the main character Tao, which something happens to him pretty early on in the story. It's almost kind of like a revenge story but it's set in a really interesting world and I like like all of the steps that the main character goes through to grow and become a more powerful person because he's kind of an underdog at the very beginning of the story and he grows and learns and develops and I just loved every step of the way and it's of course super super action-packed like there was a lot of things I wasn't expecting from this book and I really enjoyed it I also really really like the ending like if you can land an ending with a book for me that I definitely really love it so yeah I love the ending and I'm really excited to see the next book in the series which should be coming out this year fingers crossed I'm pretty excited for it the next books on this list is the Ark of Scythe trilogy by Neil Schusterman which includes Scythe, Thunderhead, and The Toll so this series I went into not fully expecting to love it. Like I'd heard so much about specifically Scythe on booktube and basically what it is because it's a futuristic, almost utopian sort of series that is about a world in which the computing power of the AI in this world has basically gone to infinity where humans have basically evolved beyond death 
which is great, but they are still stuck on Earth. So there is a population problem with people living forever and new babies being born all the time. So they have these things called sites, which are people that go around killing people for population control. So I really loved the concept of the series. I didn't think I would love it as much as I did going into it, but the series is very political, which I love, especially the last book in the series gets very, very political and Thunderhead too gets very political. And it's such a well written world. I love this world like so much. That's what makes the series for me. I also do like the main characters, but for me, what makes the series is the world building because it's such an interesting world and the politics in this world is so, so well done. And I really love the way that it's structured as well because you can get like different point of views from different characters. There's also like these sections before each chapter in which you can get like historical documents or stuff like that. The one I just showed you was a computer log of one of the AIs trying to do something. So it's funny it's sometimes in that sense because like the Thunderhead is the AI in this world and I absolutely love the Thunderhead. The Thunderhead has a great personality and I really enjoy it. This was one of my favorite series from last year and when I picked it up originally at the beginning of the year. I did not think I was going to like this series as much as I did, and I'm so glad that I read it. And the number one book on this list is The Poppy War and The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kwan. So this is another one that I picked up because of booktube. Like, that's part of the reason why I love booktube so much, is because they give me such diverse reads that I absolutely end up loving. And this is one that I don't know that I would have known about if it wasn't for booktube. But The Poppy War is an Asian inspired adult fantasy. The main character named Rin in the first book is trying to get into a military school called Senegard. And I absolutely love every second of this series, especially the second book in the series. The second book in the series is crazy good. Like I absolutely love it. What makes the series so much is one, the world building is fantastic. It's definitely very much pulled from real world history and I love that about it. It's also a grimdark fantasy and I love grimdark fantasy. I love it when authors like really get in there and don't hold anything back and this series does not hold anything back and I love that about it. Also the main character Rin is completely ruthless with herself and others and it's fantastic. She is one of the strongest female characters that I've read in a while. Especially the second book in this series, the plot is non-stop and it's fantastic. It's not just one of my favorite series by an author of color but it's probably one of my favorite series of all time and I cannot wait to get to the last book in the series which is also coming out this year so I'm pretty excited for that. So I didn't realize when I was coming up with this list almost all of the books on this list I read because of booktube. Not almost all, all of the books on this list I read because of a booktuber's recommendations. So thank you for all of the booktubers out there that are recommending authors of color and I hope we continue recommending more of them because these were all fantastic books and I highly recommend them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you've read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments because I would love to discuss with you guys. I post videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos, so if you want to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.